We start with our feet together, arms and shoulders relaxed. Bend both knees. As you shift your weight to this right side, draw a half circle with your left foot. And then shift your weight side to side so you feel like you're evenly distributed with your weight. Arms come up to shoulder height. And then each set of joints bends on its own. Your wrist, your elbows, shoulders, and then your hips, knees, and your ankles, they all kind of work as a set as your arms drop. And then we slowly come back up. Come up to this position where you're holding onto a ball, other hands in between your face and the balls to support the side of it. And let your torso just gently twist to the left. Flip it over, just like if you could spin it around, left hands underneath, right hands between my face and the ball. This time when I shift to the right, I'm going to shift my weight to the left and then I twist to the right with my foot and my arms together. So we're just going to go as far as we've gone through and then back up and start it over again. Foot comes across over to the cat stance. These hands slide down as if I'm trying to bring them down the wall. One hand turns up, other hand turns down. I put the foot forward and put my hand over my knee. Shift back so as to be able to pivot my left foot. My right side comes forward, make a fist, open your palm, put the fist in your palm, put the fist in the palm in front of your navel. Lift your leg, try and balance, set the hand back in the palm and sink down. Now we shift left and bring our arm across. Spin the ball to the right, shift right, cross the arms, put your foot in the cat stance so as if to be able to scratch your foot and sink down. Then I twist to the left, step out, one hand comes above my hip, my right arm away from my face, and then my hips shift with the arm. When I get to here, I dip my elbow. This other hand, I turn from being up to the thumb being on my lower back, and then I sink down. I believe that's as far as we've gone, which is like the first seven or so steps. So to do it again, Relax, let everything sink. Try to picture a mirror in front of you and try to have it where your shoulders, your spine are not leaning over. Try to keep everything even. Equal weight to where I shift my weight. Half circle, a little wider than your shoulders apart. Inhale, like a wave from top to bottom. And breathe out. The wave is either going from top to bottom or from side to side. So now it's like the wave sloshes over to the left, turn it over and pivot, and now the wave is gonna go to the right. Foot comes across. If you can balance, when these hands come up, so as if to like reach for the wall, my leg comes up. Hands come down, leg comes down. Palm up, other palm is down, foot goes forward. Now it's like I have a string attached from my right foot, my right hand, like a marionette, they come together. Other hands by your forearm. Make a fist, put the fist in the palm, and sink down. So it ends up looking like this. Then I lift up, just again, like that foot and the arm are on a string, and then over to here. So your fist is up, other palm is up, and then down to here. Here's the wave again, going from left, sloshes over to the right, settles back on the left leg, and then we sink down. Pivot to the left. The same time this one arm comes up by my face, the other one's coming back to my hip. And then turns out, shift left, shift right, and then these work together, just like you're turning a doorknob. Both hands turn to the right, and this hand latches on to your lower back, All right? Wherever my toes go, my knees point that same way. This foot, it's pointed to the right, my knee bends straight in that same direction. So let's try it again, maybe back up just a little bit. Shoulders level, feet together, sink down. Now, without looking at your foot, try to still do that half circle. 
Just look forward. Inhale, exhale. For the most part, we try to look out towards the direction where we're doing some hand movements, as opposed to looking down at your feet the whole time. Inhale, exhale as you twist. Spin around, shift. So most of the weight's on my left foot, it allows the right one to pivot out. Exhale. Step across if you can, leg goes up with the hands. Hands come down, foot comes down. All right, shift back, let this foot pivot out. In, out. In, out, in, out. So whenever I sink down, what I mean by that is taking your hips, your ankles, your knees, and just letting everything settle down into your feet. Shift left, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pivot left, arm goes up, other arm goes to your hip, and out, everything turns to the right, and you sink down. Okay, next exercise, we're once again gonna focus on some circles. So this arm is going to make the top of a circle, and then the bottom of the circle, the hands come together. Slide in, both hands are gonna to reach towards this front corner. And relax, let the arms drop and sink. So that last step again, I have my elbow dipped, I have my hand on my lower back, top of the circle, bottom of the circle, my hips move with the arms, and now that string is again attached to my foot, to my hands, comes in together, reach out, and kind of sink. So I'm in front of my stomach by the time I finish up. This is the cat stance again, it's just that we're facing a different direction with the lower body, other than where the top of the body is at. A lot of times I'll do a stance like we got the horse stance and I'm facing forward. Well, we just did the horse stance and we were twisting to the side too. Here's the cat stance. Usually my torso is going the same direction, but in that last one, we're a little bit twisted. So it's again like the alphabet. All these different exercises are parts of like the alphabet. And you link them together into words or sentences, paragraphs, eventually a book. And that's what the form is. It's all these things all linked together. Ready to try a couple more times? Let's face towards this side wall to give some of you a little different angle. Same exercise set, just facing to the side. So, shoulders are level, arms are relaxed. Sink down, without looking down, if you feel the half circle with your foot. Shift right and left, everything is equal and balanced. Inhale, exhale. Arms up, elbows down, inhale, exhale as you twist, feel tension on your spine, spin the ball over, shift, inhale, exhale. Come over with the foot so you make the cat stance. If you can lift up, lift up, hands lift up, hands come down, leg comes down. One palm up, other down, step forward, hand over your knee, relax and sink. Shift back, arm in front, inhale, exhale. Lift up to balance, even if it's just a little bit off the ground, if you can go high, go high, but see how you're gonna fight and adjust and shift your weight? Exhale as you come down. Shift left, shift right, shift left and cross your arms, put your feet in the cat stance. Next one, twist left, one arm out, the other one comes back. It's like you're running your hand across the wall. Bend your knees, elbows bend, hand goes on your head, your lower back. Top of the circle, bottom of the circle moves with your hips, and then the leg comes in, the arms go kind of out, and then sink down. All right. So let's try it again in this direction. We're gonna back up a space or two, adjust where you need to if you saw that you ran out of room. <clears throat> Shoulders relaxed, sink down, inhale. 
Exhale. Yeah. The wave goes from the top all the way down to your feet and breathe out. Now the wave goes side to side, in, out, flip it over, in, out. Shift the weight to the right so the left foot can come in front. Arms and legs come up. If you can, if not, just set it down and breathe out. Shift forward and breathe out. In, arm and the leg together, out, in, out. Right in front of your navel. Try to balance and then down and breathe out. Shift left, spin the ball to the right, shift and sink down again. Next one. Hand goes out, other one to above your hip. Just like you're sliding your hand right across that wall. We get to the right, both hands turn like you're turning a doorknob kind of, and sink down. So if you look at your feet, they're pointing the same way. Both knees are bent a little, but I definitely have more weight on this right side. Top of the circle, bottom of the circle, foot slides in, reach out, and down as your weight sinks down. So it's not just my arms that are dropping, it's my weight that's sinking down from here. Let's face this wall over here and try it on this side. <clears throat> so again, feet together, sink down. Without looking at the ground, make the half circle. Shift right and left, feel equal. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, arms first and then the lower body. And then up, inhale. It's like you're twisting a wet towel, letting all the water out, twist your midsection, and breathe out. Flip it over, shift your weight. Inhale, exhale. Shift across. So now I've been having you put your hands kind of here. If you can, try to get your hands all the way behind. So see how my shoulders and my spine are all twisting again? If you can go that far, fine. If you can do that, then you lift the leg. So once again, it's a little more challenging to go that far. And then down, one up, other palm down. Step forward, sink down. Shift your weight so you can pivot. Inhale, exhale. Try to lift up, even if it's a little bit. If you can go higher, go higher. And then down, exhale. So I'm trying to shift and then spin the ball. And then I shift back. This is one of the few steps where you're actually kind of looking down when you go to do the step here. And then back. I'm sliding that hand across the wall. Pivot to the right. Elbow down. Both hands turn. Sink down. Top of the circle. Bottom of the circle. And then straight in. And then kind of down. Are we doing good? Can we do a test? A review? Why don't we face the front again? Back up a few steps if you would. So most of you have been coming, you know I don't test you or make you perform on the spot or anything like that. That's not what it's about. This is all an individual journey for all of you to kind of process this, and analyze it, and on your own say, okay, I'm doing what Jim's doing, or maybe I'm not doing it quite the same way, but that's fine. And in that, you'll start to learn more about your limits what you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with. This set has a little bit more coordination um, techniques to it than the other ones. You know, just doing a heart shape is very um, one-dimensional maybe, way of saying it. This one here, what we just did, is very three-dimensional. You're doing things in all different directions and at the same time trying to coordinate your, your breathing with it and your thought. So it does get a little more complex. But that's good, because it's like doing a crossword puzzle or Sudoku, something makes you think, makes you challenge to do something that normally you wouldn't just do on your own. So I'd like to try one more exercise set with this. We'll probably have enough time to do it a couple more times through, and then we'll finish up for today. So that last one that we had done, let's do that exercise again. We're kind of in this position, and shift to the right. There's the top, the bottom I shift my weight, and then the hands go together. 
All right. I, I had to just talk about what I was saying so as to get you ready for this part because this is coordination. I'm going to twist my hand, my right hand, and then pinch the fingers together. So it's kind of a roll to here. All right, let's try this again. So we were in this spot here, top of the circle, bottom of the circle, and then go in. Now, same time I'm doing this hand, my other hand's gonna go out. And then this one rolls, the right hand, and they switch. So up until here, they did the same thing. Now they start to do something different. One goes out, one comes back. But they're both palms up. This right one, pinch all the fingertips together, and then switch it back out. At the same time, I still have most of the weight on my right leg. This one is just there to help balance. So once again, I was here, top of the circle, bottom of the circle, and then down and in. Hands come to here, pinch, and then they switch. The next part of it is like what we just did, where I'm like bringing my hand across the wall. When I get to this left corner, I dip the elbow, both elbows bend, and my hips and everything sink down. So we were here, kind of going out, and then down, one out, one back. This one's almost by my chin. Pinch the fingers, switch. Drag your hand across the wall. Now I got arms going towards the both, both front corners here. One's a pinch, the other's open. Shift the weight to the left leg and sink down. And then we get ready to do the whole thing again. So a lot of these fine details are, are hard to do, especially as we get older. The fingers, they don't move the way we want them to. If you have other issues like most of you do here, it doesn't all come together. But just by trying it, you get to know what your limits are, and then you have a reference point of what's gonna improve. Like after doing these last couple things here for the last two lessons, you're getting a little bit of an idea of what it is, and you'll get more, more balance from it. Same thing is here. Once we do this a few more times, you start to get a little more comfortable. You're like, oh, okay, maybe I can do that. Or maybe you can't. The fingers just don't move that way. But then at least you know that's where your limit is at. A lot of times we go through our lives not knowing what we can or can't do, and we start drawing back more and more until we get to the point we don't do anything. We're afraid to walk downstairs or trip on a curb or walk outside in the grass because we don't know if we can balance or do what we used to be able to do. So all these exercises are all about you. They all hold a mirror in front of you so you can see what you can do and what you can't do. And then it'll get better if you do more of it. Does that all make sense? So a lot of this is exercise, but I gotta explain a little bit because that gives you an idea where I'm coming from with it.